How to solve a one-step word problem. When solving word problems, you should always read them three times. After the first read, you should think about what the problem is all about. After the second read, you should underline or highlight all of the important information. After the third read, you should ask yourself, what is the question that I have to solve? And how am I going to solve it? Let's practice. Kane has eight jelly beans. His mom gives him some more jelly beans. Now he has 17. How many jelly beans did Kane's mom give him? So after the first read, we're gonna think, what is this problem about? Well, the problem is about a boy named Kane and jelly beans. Do you guys like jelly beans? I do too. Next, we're gonna read it and underline or highlight all of the important information. Kane has eight jelly beans. His mom gives him some more jelly beans. Now he has 17. How many jelly beans did Kane's mom give him? Okay, so we have all of our important information highlighted. Now I like to put a little question mark where it says the word some, S-O-M-E. Kane's mom gave him some jelly beans. Do we know how many? No, not yet. So I'm gonna put a little question mark right there. After the third read, we're going to ask ourselves what is the question that we have to solve and how are we going to solve it. Kane has eight jelly beans. His mom gives him some more jelly beans. Now he has 17. How many jelly beans did Kane's mom give him? Okay, now we have to ask ourselves what is the question that we have to solve? Yes, how many jelly beans did Kane's mom give him? Okay, so now that we have all the important information highlighted, we have a question mark next to the word sum, we know what the question is that we have to solve, now we have to ask ourselves, how are we going to solve it? I like to organize all my information with a bar model. So we know how many jelly beans he has in all, right? He has 17 total, so that's going to go in the whole part of the bar model. We know that he started with eight jelly beans, so that's one of the parts. We're gonna put that in one of the parts of the bar model. Do we know the other part? No, so we're going to put a question mark. Now we have to think of our equation. When we have a whole and a part, I like to do subtraction. So our equation is going to be 17 minus eight equals question mark. Next, you're going to choose what strategy you're going to use to solve the equation. Since the numbers are so low, I'm going to choose number line to solve my equation. I'm going to start at 17 and I'm going to jump backwards to 10 to make a nice clean 10. I have to subtract 7 to get to 10. If I subtract 7, how many more do I need to subtract to subtract a total of 8? 1, right. So 10 minus 1 equals 9. So now we know that 17 minus 8 equals 9. I hope this three-read strategy helps you on all your problem-solving adventures. Happy problem-solving!